I'm pineapple. Let's review this. This is gonna be a different video. I'm not exactly sure if this blaster exists, if it's supposed to exist, I mean, because I went to Walmart and I found the Ultra Select and it cost me $60 and I'm gonna be reviewing it today. What is going on here? Has Hasbro had a bit of an issue? Because I mean, this is not gonna be the same as most of my reviews. This is gonna be a very different video because this is going to be an introduction analysis what this thing is, what it does, whether or you should try to even find it, and kind of a theory as to what, where is it? This is the Ultra Select. It is not just a photoshopped Ultra Ant. This is a real thing. I am holding it right here. This blaster is a fully automatic, magazine-fed, like, kind of stampede-esque blaster. I see this as um, either the Ultra Stampede or the Ultra Rapid Strike. It, look kind of, it looks more like a Stampede than a Rapid Strike, but it works more like a Rapid Strike. It even kind of sounds more like a Stampede when you actually hear it. But yeah. Let's take a look at what this thing is. Take a look at the darts because this is gonna be not, this is gonna be my first ultra review on this channel that's actually been uploaded. And also my first review where the included, where it includes two magazines. I mean, just out of the box, this thing already looks good. I mean, it's looking good for Hasbro right here. It includes two magazines out of the box. But is that required? Well, let me explain something. First off, let's just go over the ergonomics. Let's just do this review as much as a normal review as you can possibly get. First, starting with the grip. Personally, I love this grip. It is my favorite style of Nerf Ultra grip. Pretty much a tie between the Ultra 1, the Ultra Select, and the Ultra Amp. The Amp grip looks just like all the previous Ultra grips, but it is not the same. It is very different. When you feel it, you can feel that it's different. It feels more like a classic Elite grip, which I really like. I like the Elite grips. So well done on this one, Hasbro. You made a good grip. As for the stock, oh God, the stock is glorious. It's a bit short, especially for something like this, but it is a good enough length and it is very sturdy. Um, this thing also runs on six C-type batteries, and contradictory to what you might think, they are actually in the stock, so the weighting of this blaster is very good. Thank you, just like you did with the turbine. The weighting is as what you would want to be able to dual wield, instead of being like the Rapid Strike where you have a ton of weight in the front that you have to hold up. This thing you could actually potentially dual wield, so well done on that one Hasbro. You made a good decision. Um, what about the foregrip for this? I don't know why my mask is fogging up. The foregrip is really, really weird because it's not stable at all. In fact, it's not a stable foregrip in any way, but there's a very important reason for this and it's a very good thing that it isn't stable at all because you're, well, you're, ideally you would have your hand kind of clamped to this, but mostly clamped like with your thumb and fingers to this kind of triangular portion of the shell right here. You, you're supposed to clamp onto that as the main foregrip and just kind of have your hand on here. Now, you may have noticed this weird block of orange plastic right in the dead center of the blaster that kind of looks like the magazine should go there, but not really, because it's not stable, to be honest. And while the magazines do go there, there's something really weird about this that has never been seen in any Nerf blaster before. It takes two magazines. That's really important because this blaster is the first of its kind to feature a double magazine loading system. Pull the priming handle forwards or the foregrip and the magazine will switch to the left position. Pull it back and it will switch to the right position. Hence the name, select. You can select what magazine you're firing from. 
A similar design of this was seen way back in the early Elite days with the N-Strike Elite Hail Fire, but that was a different system in which it used a kind of rotating cylinder that was mounted vertically rather than horizontally like, like the strong arm drum. But this, instead of shooting eight different magazines in a cylinder, has only two magazines side by side that you can interchange while firing. If you do this right and you practice enough, you can have infinite rate of fire, endless darts leaving the barrel without any pauses. Because the, the whole concept of reload times has just been invalidated. Magazine number one, magazine number two. Say you're shooting out of this one, you can detach the empty mag, grab a new one, shove it in there. By the time you're empty from this magazine, you can switch right back and then do the same cycle with the other magazine while you're shooting. It's a little bit cumbersome on your off hand, but it still works. And just that concept alone is brilliant. But more onto that later. Um, obviously, because it's an ultra blaster, you can't attach and strike attachments to it. So it has this pretty nice looking triangular muzzle with an internal circular barrel. So the inner barrel is circular, but the muzzle is triangular. Why is this fogged up so much? Give me one second. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There we go. That's quite a bit better. But yeah, so that's quite an interesting design. It also has a carry handle up on top, just like the Stampede and the Rapid Strike, and what was the last one? The Moto Strike. So it is a pretty comfy place to hold. However, the batteries being in the back means that it's going to be pretty back heavy. So chances are you're going to be carrying it like this. And is that a good thing or a bad thing? So that's a subjective opinion. That's for you to decide. But just know that it is pretty back heavy when you actually hold the carrying handle. It also has a tactical rail up on top. I can't even begin to fathom what you're going to put up there, but you can put whatever you want. That's what it's for. It also has quite a bit of sling points. One here, 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 another there, kind of this whole thing, this piece right here, and maybe, no, there's no way. There's no way to put the sling there. But yeah, lots of sling points on this blaster. Also, what looks like, it seems like you'd want to put your thumb there, but it's way too far forward. Like, I don't even know. I don't even know where I'm going anymore. Um, yeah, I really like the appearance of the blaster. Let's talk about the darts. And uh, this is very important because this blaster includes two magazines, but it also is the first blaster to include ultra pinpoint darts. Yes, the ones that we have seen in the fabled comics. They are real with this blaster. This is a classic ultra dart. This is an ultra pinpoint dart. Look familiar? It's the exact same design as the Mega AccuStrike darts. The only difference being that, well, the dart tips are a little bit more simplistic than the Mega darts. However, they do have the same prop, 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 properties. I should script these videos. These darts are also a nice kind of reflective silver color instead of the old traditional black color that was seen on old normal Ultra darts and Ultra Screamer darts. So, pretty interesting. I actually am pretty much digging the look of these pinpoint darts, and they work in every single Ultra Blaster that's out right now. And all the ones that I tried it with, since I have all the Ultra Blasters, and I tried them in all of them, they work just fine. So you can put these darts in any Ultra Blaster that you have, and they will be just fine like normal Ultra darts. Now, the juicy stuff. Let's take a look at this thing firing, and see if these ultra pinpoint darts are as pinpoint as they say. I will also be trying these darts in several other ultra blasters, so this firing demo will be quite a bit different than the, any other firing demo. All right. The first magazine, which is already chambered, I have loaded with standard ultra darts, and then afterwards I'm going to use a second magazine loaded with pinpoint darts so you can see the accuracy difference. I will be aiming for the bottom target on the target over there, for both different attempts so that you can see the difference. The results speak for themselves, ladies and gentlemen. 
All right, once again, we're going to be doing the exact same thing. However, this time as a test, I have a third Faro magazine off screen. I'm gonna see if I can't speed reload this before I get done emptying the other magazine. This is gonna be tough. Let's see if I can do it. I didn't plan that very well. Let's try that again. Once again, this time planned a bit better. Ha 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 You can speed load it. Here's the Ultra 3 with the pinpoint darts. Here they are in the Ultra 2. And finally, in the Ultra One. So, what do I think of the Ultra Select or the Ultra Nine? Well, in layman's terms, I'm absolutely blown away by this thing in pretty much every way you could possibly imagine, and I think that if you find one at your Walmart, you should pick it up without hesitation, no matter what, even if you despise the Ultra series. And that's a lot to say about a blaster that I'm not even sure exists properly yet. This thing has literally broken the bounds of what I thought was possible with innovation in Nerf. Not only have they come up with a good dart for the Ultra series, which validates the purchase decision of buying an Ultra Blaster because the guns are good, the darts are bad, but has also created an entire new magazine operating system that we're bound to see more of in the future. Stuff like this and stuff like the End Strike Elite Infinis is the reason why I love this hobby. This thing is absolutely magnificent, and I think that if you see one, you should absolutely buy it. Absolutely, you should try and buy this thing. It has supreme ergonomics, a glorious color scheme, it looks cool, it feels glorious, the performance is outstanding, it's also the first fully automatic ultra blaster, and at a retail price of $60, while being expensive, is still something that most people would be able to afford. So therefore, I think that if you buy this thing, you're going to be very happy with it. And I think that you're going to suddenly feel lots of love and appreciation for your Ultra Blasters just out of this one single purchase and 10 included darts. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see y'all next time. And if you want this blaster, uh, uh, I, I don't know, a buy link might be in the description, but I can't find a buy link. So when one appears at some point, then I'll put it in the description. Till then, take care. Bye.